In a cave deep in the mountains of Tibet, the roof of the world, a faithful student studied at his guru's feet. Both the guru and the student were extraordinary people. The guru was one of the last remaining masters of yoga, with the knowledge of over 7,000 yoga postures. The student had mastered ancient Eastern philosophies and had received prizes, degrees, and accolades. He was sought after by many religious institutions looking for a leader. After seven years, the student's studies neared their end. As followed in the ancient Indian system, the guru was to be compensated only after the student's studies were over. The student asked how he should compensate his guru. This was a pivotal moment for all whose lives had been touched by yoga. What the guru would ask from his student would go on to change the course of the world for all time to come. The guru considered his exceptional student. He knew that though his student was an unparalleled genius, he had a touch of intellectual intoxication. The guru reflected. If his student became the head of a religious order, which was a likely possibility, he would be secluded from the real world and his religious and intellectual dogma might grow. The guru did not want this to happen. He told his student that he wished nothing for himself. Instead, he wanted his student to get married and spread Hatha Yoga, the yoga of postures, throughout the world. The student was surprised, but knew he had to comply with the wishes of his venerable guru. He had no idea of the difficulties he might encounter along this path, but bowed deeply before his guru and took his leave. The student returned home and was married. However, he lived in the early 1900s when Hatha Yoga was looked down upon. The student faced extreme hardship and poverty. At times he was so poor that he was forced to use a piece of his wife's sari for a loincloth. They had nothing. The student weathered many hardships and grew less rigid and dogmatic over time. He learned to adapt his vast knowledge to meet the needs of the common people. Among other groundbreaking decisions, he set a precedent by accepting women as his students. What emerged from his experiences was a flowering of ancient wisdom applied brilliantly to the needs of modern times, just as his guru had hoped. The name of the guru was Yogi Rama Mohana Brahmachari and his student, T. Krishnamacharya. Among Krishnamacharya students were the big names of yoga that we know today, BKS Iyengar, Patabi Joyce, Indra Devi, TKV Desikachar, A.G. Mohan, and Srivastava Ramaswamy. They, in turn, taught some of the most extraordinary teachers of yoga that we have with us today. At the age of 95, Krishnamacharya suffered an accident. Each morning, he rose from bed and went to sit in his chair. One evening, he repositioned this chair slightly, and the next morning, at 3 a.m., when it was still dark, Krishnamacharya went to sit in his chair, but suffered a fall and broke his hip. Krishnamacharya visited a doctor. The doctor was shocked to find a man of 95 so healthy that he seemed to be no older than 60. Against all accepted norms, the doctor recommended surgery for this 95-year-old. Krishnamacharya refused the operation. Had he accepted this surgery, he would have lived much longer, but he was ready to move on. Five years later, D. Krishnamacharya passed away at the age of 100. By that time, Hatha Yoga had spread to every corner of the world and was practiced by millions. He had accomplished his guru's wish, and his task here on earth was done. T. Krishnamacharya taught us a lot about Hatha Yoga. He emphasized the daily practice of breathing techniques, known as pranayama. He also incorporated breathing techniques into the yoga asana itself. He invented sequences of asanas, known as vinyasa, that combine breath and movement in a flowing, continuous motion. He adapted and personalized vinyasas to the needs of his students. He recommended vigorous and challenging sequences for those who were ready for it, and easier and more gentle sequences for others. He revived the art of yoga therapy by combining Ayurveda, diet changes, lifestyle changes, personalized vinyasa, pranayama, and meditation to heal or mitigate illness. Anyone can be a student of yoga. Allow Hatha Yoga to open the door to deeper meaning and joy in your life. Join us at My Life Yoga and let us take this journey into deeper meaning and joy together.